Hi, I'm Hannah Hicken, and I'll be talking to you about how you become the music that you listen to. Alex Borier, a British-American singer and actor, said, you become the music that you listen to. Now, what does that mean? As you listen to different types of music, it will affect your heart rate. Like, if you listen to slow classical or slower hip-hop, it will decrease your heart rate. Or if you listen to rock or screamo music, it will increase your heart rate. I did a heart rate test on a bunch of different people to see how music would affect their heart rate. I used an app on my phone to show me their heart rate. You'd put the camera on their finger and it would detect their pulse. I chose six different songs, which were Einklang Nock Music by Mozart, which is a classical, Watermark by Enya, which is a slow song, Extreme Black and Death Metal Anthem by James Tobias, which is a screamo song, I'll Be There For You by, excuse me, by The Remembrance, which you'd probably know if you've ever watched the show Friends, Stay Awake from Mary Poppins, which is a soft lullaby, and Rock This Town by The Stray Cats, which is a jazz and swing song. I played about a minute's worth of each song, and then there'd be about a minute's worth of silence after each song. I wrote all this down on a piece of paper, and this made it easier to track down everything. So now I'm going to play two samples on you. The first one is Extreme Black and Death Metal Anthem by James Tobias. So let's see how you react to this one. So how did you react to that one? I'm guessing because it was a little loud, you probably, your heart probably started beating really fast. The next one is Watermark, is Watermark by Enya. So let's see how you react to this one. So what about that song? Did you feel calmer inside? So I made a chart showing everyone's heartbeat, and this made it easier so I could see everyone's range of heartbeat side by side. The blue line was their heart rate before the song started, and the red line is either the highest or the lowest point of everyone's heartbeat during each song. So why does this all matter? Can it be used in our daily lives? Yes. For some people, if they have anxiety, they will listen to calming music and it will help them calm down. Or if they're tired and need to get ready for something, they will listen to upbeat music and it'll help them get up and get ready. Dr. Teresa Lusiak, who has a PhD in systematic musicology, did a research focus on how, mu on how music affected workplace performance. In one study involving information technology specialists, she found that those who listened to music um, completed their task more quickly and came up with with better ideas than those who didn't, because the music improved their mood. Another way music can help you is with therapy. Lots of people actually use therapy to help them. It can be used in a variety of ways. When a, perf when a person experiences difficulty communicating after a stroke, singing words or short phrases set to a simple melody can often enhance speech production and fluency. Another way is that therapists might play a piece of music to children with autism who have limited social skills and ask them to imagine the emotional state of the person who created the song or the person who is playing it. Doing so can help a person with autism develop or strengthen the ability to consider the emotions others are experiencing. Music therapists work with adults or children, adults, or the elderly, assessing to a patient's mental or physical disorders and disabilities before developing a therapeutic treatment plan. They will work in groups or on an individual basis to address emotional and physical needs. They will use instruments sometimes to help the people. They'll have the people play the instruments or sing the songs. So let's go back to the quote I said. You become the music that you listen to. So just like in all those different scenarios, you can tell that music really does change you. The world has become so troubled, and I think that with music, we can change all that. The end. <laughs>